Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going through Loom outreach and how you can structure your Loom videos themselves to ensure that you're able to book way more calls and sign way more clients for your agency. And why I wanted to do this video was simply because we are now getting 100% of our clients through our agency funnel. Now, I completely understand that Loom videos aren't the same as a VSL, however, it's, it's, it's of the same family. And what I mean by that is um, a Loom video is an asset that is used to sell a client. And what that is also known as is a conversion mechanism. And both a VSL and a Loom video are both conversion mechanisms. So they do hold similar traits. And if we actually look at the highest converting VSLs, the highest converting Loom videos themselves, there is a structure behind them. And if you're able to understand that structure, you're able to get more sales calls and get more clients. It's as simple as that. So let's jump into what that structure looks like. Now, when it comes to Loom videos, you need to choose one route or the other. You cannot mix these two types of Loom videos. You've got a broad Loom video and you've got a personal Loom video, okay? And if you try, I've had people reach out to me who have tried to make the Loom video itself personalized, but they are sending it out at mass scale. This approach does not work. Do not try and hide the fact that your Loom video is broad. You know, maybe you put, you know, I've seen it before where people put these things in place where it's like an automated video, but then they'll change like a word in the Loom video to make it the person's name. It's very, very obvious that it isn't personalized. So don't try and act like it is. That's the first thing, because if somebody senses that the video you're sending them isn't actually personalized, but you're trying to make it seem as though it's personalized, it's instantly gonna break the trust, there's gonna be no rapport that's gonna be built, and ultimately they will not not book in a call. It's as simple as that. So that's the first thing. Just want to get it out of the way. If you're going to go broad, you want to go for the mass scale, that's fine. Just make sure that you're not trying to make it seem as though it's personal. Okay. Now the next thing, and this is more to the structure of the video itself. When you start your video, cut to the chase, right? Cut to the chase, get down to business. Do not spend a period of time talking about who you are, talking about all the things that you've done, talking about this, talking about that. Just get down to business. People do not have time anymore. And the little time that they do have, they deeply value it. And so if you're sat there, hey, my name's Kai, and uh, you know I run this agency called Bax Consulting, and we help our clients do this, and you know we do this, and we do this, and we do this, and you know we've kind of done it. They're just gonna click out. They're not. You're not gonna retain their attention. And if you don't retain their attention, you're not gonna be able to pitch them. If you if you can't pitch somebody, you're not gonna get them on the call. If you're not gonna get somebody on a call, you're not gonna sign any clients. It's as simple as that. So just get down to business, okay? Hey, my name's Kai Bax. I actually run Bax Consulting, which is an e-com advertising agency. And the reason I reached out to you, that's it, right? You could even obviously use their name if you're reaching out to somebody called Jennifer. But hey, Jennifer, absolutely love. You know, if somebody was reaching out to me, they could go, Hey, Kai, absolutely love Bax Consulting. My name's actually whatever, and we do this, this, and this. And here's why I reached out to you. That is all said within the first, you know, five seconds, 10 seconds. And you can even add in a bold claim into that as well. So I could go and reach out to somebody and say, hey, Jennifer, my name's Kai Bax and I run Bax Consulting, which guarantees an increase in your current advertising results or you actually don't pay us a cent. And Jennifer, the reason I actually reached out to you in the first place was because, and then you can kind of go into the rest of the structure, but all of that was done within the first, what, five, 10 seconds? I, I didn't waste any time because at the end of the day, the person doesn't really care too much about who you are and what you do, right? They wanna know why you're reaching out to them. And then from there, they're looking for a reason to click away. They're not actively wanting to sit down and watch a 10 minute video. They don't want to do that. But the way in which you structure your video should elicit that response from them. It should hook them in. Right? They want to click out, but because you've hooked them in, they can't click out because they want to know more. They want to see more. They want to understand more. They want to see more about what you do. Okay, So that's the first thing. Cut to the chase. Hook them in with a strong offer that relates to a problem that they are currently facing. If I reach out to an e-commerce business and I start talking about the idea of product fulfillment, maybe they don't have an issue with product fulfillment. I know all of our clients don't have any issues with product fulfillment. Some of our clients have even got robots in their warehouse. Um, they have no issue with product fulfillment. So if I start talking about product fulfillment, they're not going to get hooked in because they don't care about that because they've already got it locked in. So then guess what? That gives gives them the ability to click out. That gives them that reasoning for them to click out the video. Whereas if I start talking about their current ads and the scaling of their brand and the profitability of their business and stuff like that, most of the time that's a bigger pain point, okay? So recap, cut to the chase and hook them in. Now, we've got their attention. What we now need to do is back up our claim that we've just made. So by virtue of hooking them in, as I say, you should state an offer. 
right? Some sort of offer. If you work with real estate agents, it should be something in regards to guaranteeing a certain number of leads or a certain number of closings, right? If you're working with an e-commerce business, it should be guaranteeing a certain number, right? Again, our guarantee at Bax Consulting for our e-commerce agency is an increase in current ad results guaranteed. And so what I now need to do is I need to back up that claim because depending on where you send your loom video, you may send loom videos as a, as a, a, you know, we call it in quantum leap retargeting loom video, which is basically where somebody will send you a message, say that they're interested and then you send them a loom video. So they're slightly more warm. However, you may also send loom videos on cold. So you reach out to somebody, the first time you've reached out to somebody is with a loom video. And so either way, really, they don't know you too well. You know, the no like and trust factor isn't really established too well yet. And so they're going to take everything that you say with a grain of salt. So you must be able to back up your claims with cold, hard evidence. And the way that you do that is just show results. The best way to show results from my experience is to actually show an ads manager. And when you're showing the ads manager, you're showing your results, do not hesitate to share the brand themselves. It's a lot better. Your results become a lot more powerful. You know, they become that much more powerful when there's an actual brand attached to the numbers and it's not just numbers on the screen. Why is that? Well, you know, you've got psychological reasons because they can go ahead and reach out to the brand. They can actually just look up the brand and see that it's a real thing. And so more and more people are reaching out. And most people who are reaching out to these brands only have screenshots. They can't actually show the brand. And so a really easy way to separate yourself from the rest in your Loom videos is just show the brand behind the results that you're sending. Just by doing that, you're going to have an upper hand on the next person who reaches out to them, um, which will probably be about 10, 15 minutes later at this rate, right? Who only show numbers and they can't show the results. If you can't show the brand for whatever reason, you've got an NDA, maybe it's your media buyer screenshots, I would really, really urge for you to do everything that you can to have the ability to show the brand. But if you can't, it's not the end of the world. But if you can, it just gives you that little upper hand. It gives you that little bit of a, an advantage over the next person. Now on the topic of, I don't like to use the word saturation because I personally don't think the agency space is saturated as most people think. But you know, on the topic of more and more people reaching out to the prospects that you're reaching out to as well, a really good next step once you've shown the results you've gotten is to provide a little bit of insight, nothing more than two to four minutes, okay? Nothing more than two to four minutes but providing a little bit of insight into that two to four minute time frame into how you got the results that you're showing. So we've cut to the chase, we've stated our offer, we've backed up the offer with results, with cold hard evidence, right? You've proved your point beyond reasonable doubt, right? Very, very important section. And now the next step is to show how you got those results, provide a little bit of insight. This really, really helps with, again, differentiating your agency, your service offering from the rest. Most business owners in today's day and age have probably worked with an agency in the past. And most business owners experience in this day and age with other agencies, it's not the best. It's a negative one because most agencies promise the world and deliver nothing. And so if you're able to provide a little bit of insight, again, you don't want to, you don't want to flood this section with a bunch of extra stuff that is not needed because that, again, going back to what I said at the beginning of the video, that gives the prospect a reason to click out. And the prospect is actively searching throughout the entire video for that reason, whether they're doing it consciously or subconsciously, they are searching for a reason to click out of the video. That is why every single step of the funnel, the only goal I should say of every step in the funnel is to get the prospect to the next step of the funnel until at the very end, the next step of the funnel is that for them to book in a call. That's it, right? When you send the email, which the loom's embedded in, or when you send your, um, you know, your social media message, whether you're on Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn or whatever it may be, where the, lo the, the loom video is embedded into that message, the only goal of the message is to get the prospect to click the loom video right? Then the title of your Loom video, the only goal of the title of your Loom video is to get the prospect to click play on the Loom video. And then we want to cut to the chase. Why do we want to cut to the chase? To hook the prospect in. Why do we want to hook the prospect in? To get them to watch the next section in the video. Why do we want to state the offer? To get them hooked in. Why do we want to back up the offer? So that the prospect knows that what we're saying is true and that we've, you know, we're, we're proving our point beyond reasonable doubt. Why do we want to do that? So that then they think that we're somebody worth listening to. And so from there, because they think that we're somebody worth listening to, they'll probably listen to the next bit and the next bit and the next bit. And then at the end of the video, when we pitch to book in a call, because the Loom video itself has been such a powerful conversion mechanism, they are going to feel forced to book in a call because they cannot click away from this video without taking action because they're so bought in. That's the goal of the Loom video. And so going back to my original point, that's why we don't want to go too deep into our 
technical approach to how you actually get results, whether you run ads uh, on Facebook or Google or TikTok or Snapchat, or you do email marketing or you do influencer marketing or you do SMS marketing or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You don't wanna go too deep. You just wanna touch on the idea that you run Facebook ads, but you do it in this, this, and this way. Or the fact that you run YouTube ads. If, to be honest, if you do anything other than Facebook ads, that in and of itself acts as a very unique mechanism. I want you to go ahead, click on the video in, I think it'll be this, uh, this corner here. I'll link a previous video I did on the idea of offers and the importance of offers in your outreach and how different services act as a unique mechanism, which can instantly, just that on its own, the, by virtue of you offering Google over Facebook, for example, or YouTube over Google or whatever it may be, that in and of itself can act as a unique mechanism, which can hook somebody in without doing anything else. So you already get an upper hand. And then if you run advertising, well, you can throw shade on the idea of email marketing. It's like, well, email marketing just does not work unless you have top of funnel traffic coming into your funnel. Who's there to send emails to if nobody's opting into your newsletter? How do we get more people to opt in? Run top of funnel, you know. So this is the idea in this section, right? You wanna throw shade on other services. And by virtue of doing that, you naturally create this idea of f the fear of missing out right, in regards to your service. So if you build your service up in a way that the pr approach that you use and what you do for your clients gets the absolute best results out of anything else, right? Nothing beats the results that you get using the service that you're that you're offering. Well, that naturally builds this idea, as I say, of fear of missing out. It's like if the client doesn't act now, they may miss out on an extra 50,000 a month to their bottom line just because they don't take you up on this offer, right? And you can see that here with this client, with this client, with this client, with this client, where we've done exactly that, right? You create FOMO. And that is also a really, really big driving factor behind people booking in calls and essentially coming on, on board as clients. And so once we've instilled that idea of, um, of, of FOMO, we've backed up how we get results and the fact that we actually do get results, what we always now do is restate the offer, okay? So I always wanna restate the offer, I wanna re-drill in the idea that, you know, most of the time, if you have a really good offer, you're able to basically eliminate all downside by guaranteeing results. That's the best offer that you can run, right? Just take, oh, take away the downside. If they come on board as a client and you don't get them results, they don't pay a cent, they get 100% refunded. If they come on board as a client and they don't achieve the desired state that they want to achieve within their business, they don't pay a cent. At that point, there's no reason why they won't come on board as a client because they, they, they can't lose anything. It's as simple as that, right? So if you really wanna sign clients and you genuinely believe in your service offering, guarantee the results. It's the number one way to scale your agency. And so this is the stage within the Loom video where I do just that right? You want to guarantee results, eliminate the downside, and then from there, you want to pitch for the call. That's the last stage. Up until this point, you've been building for the pitch, right? You've introduced your offer. You've backed up the offer with unequivocal proof. You gave a little bit of insight into how you actually get those numbers. What are you actually doing? Are you running Google ads or emails? Are you doing influencer marketing or Facebook ads, right? What are you doing? How are you getting those results? Okay, cool. That's interesting. All right. And then you restate the offer. And from there, you guarantee results. There is no downside. There's only infinite upside in this situation. And the prospect will be pretty bought in by this point because everything that the client is looking for, you've given them. And, and tenfold on that, right? So by this point, they're really, really bought in. And now this is when you can pitch for the call. Because guess what? Going back to what I said at the start of the video, a Loom video is a conversion mechanism. Now, the goal of a conversion mechanism is to convert somebody from a state one to a state two. What are the two states in agency outreach? Well, state one is them being somebody completely cold, no idea who you are. State two is somebody who's booked in a call. Now, most people try and skip the gap that's between those two states. They try and take somebody in state one and just make them jump over an entire gap to state two, but they can't jump over that gap because it's too far, right? The, 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 the positioning is too far, they can't make that jump. There has to be a bridge and that, com and the, the, you know, a conversion mechanism acts as the bridge for the prospect to actually walk along from state one to state two. That's how they get from state one to state two. They can't make the jump, so don't try and make them jump. Don't push them. Make them walk along the bridge in which you build from state one to state two. And think of each step that the prospect takes along the bridge as uh, the next stage within the funnel. Going back to what I was mentioning previously, the goal of the message is to get them to click the Loom video. The goal of the title of the Loom video is to get them to actually play the Loom video. The goal of section one within the Loom video is to get them to consume section two within the Loom video, and so on and so forth. And think so think of each one of those stages within the funnel as a step. And as you get them to take the next step, 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 guess what? All of a sudden, they're at state two. What's state two? 
a booked call, okay? I hope that insight brought some more clarity around how you can actually uh, create effective Loom videos which enable you to increase the amount of sales calls that you book for your agency and consequently increase the amount of clients that you actually sign for your agency. As always, guys, if you found value in this video, please go ahead, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. I don't ask for anything else other than that subscribe like the video if you enjoyed it if you didn't like it if you didn't find any value you thought this was the worst thing you've ever watched leave a dislike right i want to see them as well okay so with that being said i will see you in the next video